What's up everybody, Damon here, and in today's gaming news, a verdict has been reached in the Microsoft vs. FTC trial, but Diablo 4 is apparently not headed for Game Pass. This is your Daily Fix. <laughs> The wait is over, and we have a decision on the recent trial between the FTC and Microsoft. Judge Jacqueline Scott Corley has ruled in favor of Microsoft, denying the FTC's preliminary injunction request. Judge Corley said in the ruling, Microsoft's acquisition of Activision has been described as the largest in tech history. It deserves scrutiny. That scrutiny has paid off. Microsoft has committed in writing, in public, and in court to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation for 10 years on parity with Xbox. It made an agreement with Nintendo to bring Call of Duty to Switch, and it entered several agreements to, for the first time, bring Activision's content to several cloud gaming services. For the reasons explained, the court finds the FTC has not shown a likelihood it will prevail on its claim this particular vertical merger in this specific industry may substantially lessen competition. To the contrary, the record evidence points to more consumer access to Call of Duty and other Activision content. The motion for a preliminary injunction is therefore denied. In a statement issued to IGN, FTC spokesperson Douglas Farrar said, We are disappointed in this outcome given the clear threat this merger poses to open competition in cloud gaming, subscription services, and consoles. In the coming days, we'll be announcing our next step to continue our fight to preserve competition and protect consumers. The decision leaves the door open for Microsoft to complete the buyout before the July 18th deadline. It could finalize the deal immediately. But the company still has some hurdles to go through with regulators, such as the UK's Competition Markets Authority, or CMA, which blocked the deal earlier this year. Microsoft has since appealed the decision, and a hearing is set for July 28th and will conclude on August 4th. In an updated statement issued to IGN, Microsoft's Brad Smith said it is now considering how the transaction might be modified in order to address the CMA's concerns. As a result, Microsoft, Activision, and the CMA have agreed on the stay of the litigation in the UK. This means a pause of Microsoft's appeal in the UK as the three parties hash out a satisfactory restructure of the transaction. And there is still an upcoming trial with the FTC set for August, but everything does seem to be coming up Millhouse for Microsoft and Activision. Everything's coming up, Millhouse! Now, speaking of Activision becoming a part of Xbox, the boss of Blizzard has insisted Diablo 4 will not come to Game Pass amid rumors the action role-playing game is set to hit Microsoft's subscription service. Responding to a tweet that mentioned Diablo 4's availability in Xbox Game Pass, Blizzard president Mikey Barra said plainly, this is not happening. That's a definitive sounding statement, but it hasn't stopped some fans from wondering whether Diablo 4 will eventually come to Game Pass if Microsoft's proposed $69 billion buyout of Activision Blizzard goes through, which is seeming more and more likely. During the FTC trial, Activision Blizzard boss Bobby Kotick admitted he's not a fan of multi-game subscription services, hence why Activision games have largely failed to appear on them. If the acquisition happens, Kotick acknowledged he'll be stuck with Game Pass, whether he likes it or not. He said, I don't agree with the idea of a multi-game subscription service as a business proposition going forwards, but we, Activision and Microsoft, can agree to disagree. And finally today, as Diablo 4 nears the launch of Season 1, players are working through the end game, hitting the level cap, and completing some of the game's toughest challenges. But for some, that is not enough. For some, the ultimate challenge is hitting enemies for billions of points of damage just five weeks after launch. Last week, Diablo 4 streamer Moxie hit the highest damage ever in a game. 957,957,504 hit points. But it didn't take long for Moxie to break through the billion barrier with an incredible 1.8 billion point hit. Since then, a Diablo 4 YouTuber called Echohack posted a screenshot showing a 2.1 billion hit. These astronomical damage numbers are beyond what the vast majority of Diablo 4 characters are currently capable of and make the game's toughest elite enemies evaporate in the blink of an eye. So what's going on here? Moxie is using a druid werewolf build dubbed Lightning Shred 2.0 that lets the character infinitely teleport to enemies and make them vulnerable. It's worth pointing out the importance of the Stormclaw aspect for this build. This deals additional lightning damage to the target and surrounding enemies on critical strikes with the Shred skill. Stormclaw scales the lightning damage in a way that appears beyond the boundaries Diablo 4 has established via what's called double dip damage. With hits in the billions now hitting the headlines, all eyes would be on Blizzard to see if it considers this sort of damage output expected gameplay or broken in a way that requires a nerf or change that limits double dip damage. Meanwhile, Diablo 4 players are enjoying watching the race to 3 billion damage. And that is your Daily Fix for Tuesday, July 11th. Now that you're caught up on the news, check out the official announcement trailer for the making of Karateka. Hey, I'm excited for that. I'm Damon Hatfield, and for all your gaming news, stay tuned to IGN.